Hi, welcome to another exciting Unity tutorial with me, Romy Fauzi. In this video, I'm going to explain a battle mechanic similar to Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns battle system. And now I have a Unity project open here. I've imported a couple of assets such as cartoon heroes, free dragons, and the most important, do twin for twinning. And as always, links are going to be in the description. First, let's add the player character to the scene. And then add an empty game object for the player model parent. And this is going to be the player object. Add a collider and rigid body, setting it accordingly. Then add the cube, scale it to 35, 0.1 and 35 on the X, Y and Z axis respectively. And set the Y position to negative 0.05. This will compensate the X scale so the surface will align on the zero value of the Y axis. In the player script, I've declared all the needed variables and I've created a couple method to move the player, rotate, charge the ATB and consume the ATB. For the input, I'm basically getting the horizontal and vertical axis and map it to a factor 3 X and Z value and then rotate this factor with the Y rotation of the camera, so the direction will be relative to the camera. And inside move, I'm simply pass the vector movement to the rigid body velocity. For the rotation of the player, I've set up two conditions. If the player are moving, then the player should face the movement direction. But if the player stop moving, then I've set the player to face the enemy. Input and charge at TB method are run inside the update and the move and facing method runs inside the fix update. I have also added the enemy to the scene, position it correctly so it is facing the player. And for the enemy script, basically it only consists of methods for receiving damage and also triggering the hit animation and hit particle effects. To define the position of the hit effects, I'm using a method from the collider component called closest point. This can get the closest point on the collider based on the position parameter of the method. And I'm passing the player position into the method argument. Then I've add a capsule collider to the enemy so we can get the closest point from the player. Also attach the enemy script. And I've also added a particle system for the hit effects as the child of the enemy and assign it to the enemy script. For the enemy animator, I only set three states in it which are idle, hit, and dead. Both hit and dead gets triggered using different trigger. For the player animator, I've created it like this. We have idle and move, and also jump state, and a sub state machine for the abilities, which are consist of three different attacks and one guard animation. All these abilities are triggered using these different triggers. And when the animation is finished, it goes back to the idle, except for guard. When the guard bull is false, it goes back to idle. For camera, I'm using Cinemachine target group camera, so we can have multiple camera that stays inside the camera. We can put the target under the target group object, and in the Cinemachine settings, I've adjusted body offset and aim offset, as well the radio settings under the target group object to get the framing I wanted. In the player script, I've also created a separate class for the ability and inside the class, it has all fields such as damage, key code for key binding, ATB cost, string for animation trigger, and boolean for hold action such as guard. There is a perform method which will perform the ability with a specific condition that needs to be met such as ATB value and the assigned key input. I've also used do twin to perform the jump twin if the player are too far from the enemy. On the twin code, I've added an uncomplete event and this will play the ability animation upon twin completion. But if the player are inside the attack range, then it will play the attack animation right away. And finally, I've added UI for the ATB and assigned to the player script. And I've also added this information of abilities, also some post-processing, and now we have this for the gameplay. So, thanks a lot for watching. 
I've put the link to the project in the description, but unfortunately, I have to strip down the assets from the project. But I will also put the link for the assets in the description. And if you like this video, hit that like button and also subscribe. Don't forget to click those notification button to get the latest update from my channel. See you on the next video. Bye.